Clinical trials are very important in my view for patients because we are shooting to cure cancer. Okay? Curing cancer does not happen because we wish for it to happen. It happens because we want to make a difference and we want to bring in science that we have learned in the lab and otherwise into the bedside to make a difference for patients. I think one of the major advantages that you have in a university like ours is you have incredible minds in the lab trying to understand every aspect of the cancer. And you have fantastic doctors who have dedicated their lives to actually work in a setting that allows them to make a difference for patients. And imagine the power of this side of the team and that side of the team with the patient as the third you know, angle, trying to make a difference. It's, it's absolutely tremendous. When we discuss clinical trials with patients, obviously we have to present all sides of the clinical trial. There's clearly no guarantee of benefit. That's actually true for even standard treatments that we offer to patients. Not every treatment is going to work for every patient. The difference, of course, in the standard treatments is that they have been tested, and we know that the um, burden of proof is there that is actually likely to be of benefit. In the context of a clinical trial, we can never guarantee the benefit. So at no time, patients are asked to only participate in clinical trials. Everything is put in the context of care, the total care that we give to patients. So we begin by explaining why we're doing the clinical trials, what is the scientific rationale for it? What kind of information we have um, that led us to, you know, to the assumptions we're making in the clinical trials? What is involved in being part of the clinical trial? What measures are in place to protect the patients? And the most important part, it's a choice they have to make. We cannot make them do it. They have to be wanting to be part of that. We also explain that um, patients have a choice of getting willingly into the trial and getting out of the trial willingly without you know, anybody having uh, bad feelings about it or anything. Their care doesn't get compromised. We're in this not because we want to be famous doctors or famous researchers or get a grant or whatever. That's fantastic if it happens. We're all competitive and we'd like to see that happen. But the truth of it is we're in there because we want to help patients. We want to help um, reduce the suffering from the cancer. You look at it and you say, if you can make a difference in a small fraction, then that would give you, you know, a lot of gratification that you've actually helped someone do something. Every day you wake up and you look at your cancer patients and what they go through as families or as patients, as children, as wives, as brothers, as whatever it is, in whatever capacity you see you're interacting with them. And the impact that has on their life is absolutely tremendous. And if you can make a little difference in the life of one person, then that's success.